It's another day, another Steam Deck beta that improves your Steam Deck, makes it better, adds compatibility, a bunch of fixes, and it just makes the Steam Deck experience so much better. And we're going to talk about it in this video. I'm blades 2 k If you love Steam Deck content and you want more on your homepage every day, please click like, subscribe, click the bell icon for more so you get notified. Anyways, guys, let's get into it. But first, check out my list of favorite Steam Deck accessories down below in the video description at the bottom and top comment of this video. It's a really cool list. I add stuff to it every day. Anyways, let's get into it. So guys, this article comes courtesy of Gaming on Linux. Steam and Steam Deck Beta improves controller config configurator plus Linux fixes. So Valve's released a new Steam client beta for both desktop and the Steam Deck with new fixes and new features too, like showing full or partial controller icons when hovering over items. So that's really interesting. So this is for the Steam um, client beta. So this is the desktop client beta, all right? And some fixes for the, the actual the operating system for well, the, the Steam OS Steam Deck friendly user interface as well, right? Um, so this change log is basically the same with different titles across desktop and Steam Deck, with the desktop client having additional fix for Mac OS. Ooh, nice. I've not that's one thing I've not tried. I've not tried using the new big picture mode or the desktop client for Mac OS yet. I maybe need to install it, right? That might be kind of fun. So general, changing download regions no longer requires restarting the Steam client. That is a pretty di pretty big deal. Um, show icons for partial and full controller support and library when a game portrait is focused or hovered. Very good. Um, so that's good. So when we're hovering over games and stuff like that, we'll be able to see if it has partial or full controller support. That's a big deal, especially if you're playing on the Steam Deck, right? Which only has the controller built in, unless you connect a mouse or keyboard to it, certainly. Add a roll-up of gifts. Um, add a roll-up of gifts received in the quick access notification area. Not bad. That's a nice little improvement there. Steam input, controller configurator now groups commands if they're attached to the same input. Okay, controller configuration browsing scheme, uh, screen can now preview configurations and selection processes now previews then applies instead, applies instead of directly selecting the configuration. That is really handy. That's one thing I've been wanting to be improved. I thought it was a little bit unintuitive before the controller configuration browsing screen and it's, it's quality of life improvements that I love like this. Desktop Linux, fix some errors causing the library not to render proper, uh, properly so this is on desktop linux fix the start in big picture mode setting not updating okay center the navigation column in the big picture overlay vertically to match the rest of the main menu cool so for those of you linux gamers or even steam deck, steam deck gamers that love to dock your steam deck and play it in desktop mode play games in desktop mode this will be good for you virtual keyboard standalone keyboard can now be brought up outside of big picture mode um Oh, that is really good. That is really good. That's a big update there. Um, fix some issues using the paste button outside of web context. Nice. An important detail is that they seem to have left out though is that the new full slash partial controller icons that appears when you hover over a game in your library is not actually on Steam Deck. Oh no! It only appears to work on a desktop PC in the new big picture mode. Um, it doesn't even appear on the Steam Deck desktop mode with new big picture either. This is the second time they've noted something not actually there for the Steam Deck, like the latest beta mentioning new controller options for idle turn off time and turn off in the exiting big picture. Seems they've once again copy and pasted bits of the change log without enabling it on the Steam Deck directly. Here's how how it looks on desktop steam so here's how it looks like kudos again to gaming on linux for covering this we we'll love you we we'll love you game on gaming on linux.com um the best place for gaming on linux news um so as you can see here we'll zoom into the image here so as we said as the as gaming on, gaming on linux says um this doesn't appear yet on the Steam Deck. It seems like they've either forgotten to add it to the Steam Deck or forgotten to mention that it's not available on the Steam Deck. But I think they should add it to the Steam Deck because obviously the Steam Deck, unless you have a mouse and keyboard attached, does use a gamepad, right? So it's very useful to see just by hovering over game tiles whether the game supports full controller, it supports controllers fully or partial controller support. So hopefully they either fix that and add that to the Steam Deck um, because I think it would be really helpful. And I don't know why they would list it as an update for the Steam Deck beta client if it's not available on the Steam Deck, even in desktop mode. Makes no sense to me. But there we go. There's a nice little update for you. Um, courtesy from 
Gaming on Linux, of course. Um, kudos to them. Um, and Liam Dong, who posts on Gaming on Linux. But there we go. More Steam Deck news. We love it. We love to see all these frequent updates. Um, Valve, if you're listening, keep updating the Steam Deck. Keep making it better because you've done a great job of it so far. And obviously, these little improvements just in the long run just make the steam deck more comfortable more accessible more enjoyable for for people that maybe aren't into pc gaming or just people that pick up a steam deck having played the nintendo switch for a while you know or ps5 and are used to xbox and ps5 etc you know making it as user friendly adding these little improvements just makes it that much better of an experience anyways guys if you love steam deck content you want to see more on your youtube homepage every day please click like subscribe and the bell icon um and also check out um our twitter down below i'm always on twitter okay so if you want to ask any questions or anything and also i stream every day at 3 p.m eastern on youtube and on twitch links in the description and also don't forget like i said at the start check out my curated list of favorite steam deck accessories and the link should be at the bottom of the description and in the top comment of this video and i'm always adding stuff to it if you have any recommendations let me know in the comments and i'll add it to the list um and yeah we're building out a really cool page full of awesome accessories. So if you're ever wanting something to just make your deck a little bit cooler or um, skins for the trackpads, SSD recommendations, micro SD card recommendations, got case recommendations, travel case recommendations, cable battery pack recommendations. I put all my favorite things in that list. So if you want to go check them out, go check them out and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Blaze2K. Thank you for watching. Have a great Thursday. I'll see you in the next one.